Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. If you're new here, do yourself a favor and subscribe. You're currently missing out. If you close your eyes and I say to you the word architect, the first image that blow your mind. A drafting table, drawing tools, roll of papers with plans, details, section, models, or um, maybe coffee. All those words are true but it doesn't match any more to the image of a modern architect. At time, the coffee is still there. The digital revolution transformed our papers to laptops a long time ago. In the late 1980s, the CAD software became capable enough to be practical in engineering design. 20 years later, Revit appears and constantly became the new situation and the new experience. So, these two softwares can be compared. They are both used by architects, engineers and contractors to produce a set of construction documents. In such a manner, they serve the same goal, but they depend on totally different concepts. So here are the five key differences. Number one, drafting workflow versus single unified 3D model. In AutoCAD, we draw each element apart. To design, we work on a plan, then on an elevation, then on a section. The process can be in some way free, because the drawings are not linked to each other. But in Revit, we have to think about all the sides of the building at the same time. That's because whatever is done in plan is generated in the design of an elevation, section or 3D view. Number 2. Digital Sketchboard vs. Informational 3D Database AutoCAD in some way is like a piece of paper on which you draw whatever you want. Revit thinks in a different way. It is the nearest thing to a real building. What I mean is, instead of designing with a ruler and a pen, in AutoCAD we draw 2D lines that represent real elements. For this reason, the term Computer Aided Design or CAD. On the other hand, in Revit, we build 3D components equipped with real-life information. So, the term Building Information Modeling, or BIM. This is the most important difference between both softwares. Number 3. Manual Tracking versus Quick Modifications Yes, I know the feeling. A last-minute modification from a client and here you go running from a plan to an elevation to a section. Where did that type of window appear elsewhere? Oh, you forgot the schedule. It is almost manual and time consuming in AutoCAD. Of course, we all know the advantages of external reference or XREF, but this is nothing compared to the power of BIM. Do you need to change that window? Just browse in the properties, change its width and you're done. The new adjustment will be incorporated into every single view in Revit, avoiding the dreaded fear of last-minute discrepancies. Number 4. Linear Coordination vs. Clash Detection This is where things get really interesting. The design has been approved by the client and in-depth coordination with the other engineering trades must begin. In AutoCAD, these processes are quite linear, involving a constant back and forth between all the parties. Revit provides a big advantage. The structural, mechanical and electrical models can all be linked to the main architectural model to detect and track in real time any clash between elements. Number 5. You Yes, one of the biggest difference between AutoCAD and Revit is you. This last point will not be found anywhere by the book, but it is still important. How do you know that someone is a beginner in Revit? You open the 3D model and you feel like you are transported into a science fiction movie. Walls flying, elements suddenly disappear, a door leading straight into a void or a stair leading nowhere. 
That's because it takes a real mindset shift to transition from drafting to building. One must remind oneself constantly that any single move will have consequences everywhere in the model and that certainly takes time to master. I hope that I have clarified the difference between AutoCAD and Revit. Thank you guys for watching and have a nice day.